Welcome to ATF Hydrographics and another edition of our bi-weekly video series called Just the Tip, where we cut out all the boring stuff and just give you guys at home great tips and tricks for how you can become a better DIY hydro dipper. In today's video, we're going to be talking all about hydro dipping paints. We're going to show you what you should be using, what you shouldn't be using, and everything you need to know so that you can hydro dip something right in your own home. Stick around, tell you all about it. Today's video is brought to you in part by One Hit Wonder Paint Company. If you're shopping for your first hydro dipping kit, something that you want to do at home, or you have a kit already and you're just frustrated because it's not working correctly, you need to step up to the paint that we use right here at ATF Hydrographics, which is OHW. One Hit Wonder, or OHW for short, has an awesome do-it-yourself dip kit that they have put together that you can buy right on their website. Their paints are amazing. We use them all the time. They stick to everything you could think of. Bone, glass, metal, aluminum, plastic. It works great. And the best part is, there's no primer needed, ever. If you'd like to get your hands on one of their dip kits or any of their other really cool products, make sure you stick around all the way to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you how you can get your hands on some with a discount. And who doesn't like saving money? That's awesome. So let's start out by talking about what you should not be using for hydro dipping paint if you're trying to do this at home. So here's an example of a whole bunch of paints that you should not be using to try to hydro dip. I know that this stuff seems really tempting because you can just go down to any auto parts store or your Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever and just buy this stuff, but it's not made for hydrographics and there's a reason. And we talked about this a little bit in our five things you didn't know about hydrographics video. I'll leave a link right up here if you want to go check that video out. But basically in order for hydrographic inks, the stuff that's in the film that makes the cool patterns, in order for it to stick to something, it needs to be painted first. And what happens is those inks actually absorb or melt, if you will, into that hydrographics paint and it becomes a permanent part of that paint. Paints like these don't always allow that to happen. And if they do allow it to happen, many times you run into issues with what's called the open window. Now in very simple terms, the open window is going to be from the time when the paint is dry to the touch to the time when you have to either apply the next coat of paint or clear coat it. During that time is when you have to hydro dip. Now on paints like these, most of these paints have a very, very small open window. So for example, this Rust-Oleum paint, let's look on the back of it. It says, apply a second coat or clear coat within one hour. For another example, this Duplicolor says, allow paint to dry 10 minutes after coat and 30 minutes before applying clear coat. So your open window on products like these is very, very small. And in that open window, what you would have to do is paint your part, wait for it to dry to the touch, rush in here, try to dip it, dry it off, and clear coat it all within that allotted amount of time. So not only is this stuff not made to be hydro dipped, it's also very inefficient. I mean, who has time to run in here, paint something, dip it, and then dry it off and clear coat it in a short amount of time like that? Sometimes you need to take a couple days. And this stuff just ain't gonna cut it. So now that we know what you shouldn't be using, let's talk about what you should be using. Now, if you want to do a proper hydro dipping job like on this cup right here, you're going to need to use hydro dipping paint. And if you didn't know already, there are paints made specifically for hydro dipping, which is, by the way, what you should be using if you want to hydro dip something. You use hydro dip paint for hydro dipping. Just to put it in perspective, if you wanted to paint your house, you wouldn't go try to melt down a bunch of crayons and slather it all over the side of your house. Well, some of you might, but don't do that because they make paint specifically for painting your house. It even says it right here on the can. Where to use properly prepared interior house walls and ceilings. So hydro dipping is no different. You want to use a paint that is made specifically for hydro dipping. And here's an example of one right here. And I know it's a hydro dipping paint because it says it right here on the can. Hydrographic paint. Now the paint that we like to use is One Hit Wonder, and many reasons why, but one of the biggest is it's an all-in-one hydrographics paint. You don't need a separate primer or adhesion promoter or anything like that. You just purchase the paint, prep it like you're supposed to, which I have a video on. If you want to go check it out, I'll leave it up here. But after you're done with your proper prep, all you do is spray this on and you're ready to dip. Now hydro dipping paints do come in a liquid form like this so that you can put it in an HVLP gun and spray it if you want to or you can use an aerosol version of them. They both work just fine. But the most important thing about these paints is they have a very large open window. And it says it right here on the side of the can. 18 month dipping window and one hit wonder will remain open to accept clear coat for up to 14 days after painting or dipping. So 14 days versus 30 minutes to an hour for most of your normal paints, I mean, that's a no brainer. Buy Hydrographics paint. 
Now, if you don't want to get into a big HVLP setup with a compressor and all that good stuff, you can use these rattle cans with really, really good results. We use them all the time here. The only thing to remember with this paint is you're not painting a car or a house or anything like that. You're not trying to glob as much of this paint on as you possibly can. What you want is nice, even light coats, and all you're trying to do is just get your part to be whatever color this paint is. Hydro dipping paint is a little bit thinner than normal paints and doesn't need to be built up in bunches and bunches of coats. Usually, two to three coats with this really really light is all that you need and if you do go completely buck wild and you decide to put like 15 coats of this stuff on like I've seen some people do on YouTube you will run into issues because the more of this stuff that you put on your part the harder it's going to be for the individual layers to dry. What will happen is when you go to activate your film and you dip your painted part in there, the paint will actually turn to like this gummy, nasty mess, and you don't want that. So use this stuff just like the directions on the side of the can say, and you'll have no problems. Now, if you live here in the good old U.S. of America, this is going to be very, very easy for you. I'm going to show you exactly where you can purchase hydro dipping paint from. If you live somewhere other than America, I'm not really going to be able to help you very much because you guys have different paints and different parts of the countries and I don't know what works over there. So if you live outside the U.S. and you don't have a place where you can order hydrographics paint from, you're going to have to go to your local paint supply store, buy a bunch of different types of paint, and just try them out and see which one works for you. And if you're going to buy hydro dipping paint, make sure that you buy a really high quality paint like this one hit wonder that I've got right here. Now as far as price goes, hydro dipping paint is not much more expensive than any other regular paint that you would buy right off the shelf. If cost is a concern, number one, quit being cheap and trying to find your way around everything. Thing. It is what it is. Just buy it and do it right the first time. But if you are one of those cheap people that just has to save money, I tell you what, I got a coupon code for you. You can go right down here in the description box below. I've got a coupon code to One Hit Wonder where you can get $5 off your order right now. So I hope that you learned something about hydro dipping paint today. If you like what you saw today, make sure that you go below, smash that thumbs up button. We'd really appreciate it. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Let's roll the bloopers. Now, if you want to hydro dip some this goes hydro dipping paint. Be sure to subscribe if you subscribe, subscribe. Wah. <laughs> Button if you like what you saw. Use the link and the coupon code, and you'll get five dollar, five dollars, five dollars, five dollars. U.S. of America. I don't know what. Why do I always oh, just back up, back up? should be using what you shouldn't be using and uh the yeah the mhm mm yes